Welcome back into the Blacksburg Buzz, and today is the day. Football is finally here. The Hokies are back in action on the field, something we've been waiting for since the night of December 27th when they dominated Tulane in the Military Bowl. I am so excited for this game for a lot of reasons, and of course, the top one just being it is the first game of the season. Virginia Tech and Vanderbilt coming up today at noon. It is going to be a good one. But before we dive into my expectations for this game, we're going to rehash a little bit of my Vanderbilt preview from our scheduled deep dive and just talk about other things that I'm really excited about from week one of college football. But like I said, before we get into that, let's talk about today's video sponsor, Bet Online. Bet Online is the world's most trusted betting platform and your number one source for everything football. Bet Online has every stat, every matchup, and even live odds and spreads to bet on during the games. Think you know your stuff? Get in on our $200,000 mega contest and pick five games against the spread every week for your chance at weekly prizes and a share of two hundred thousand dollars when the game's over head on over to our online casino and get in on a game of blackjack or poker or unwind with one of our over 150 slot games head to the website today to get in on the action bet online the game starts here so in addition to just being the very first game of the season for the Hokies this is going to be a pretty easy SEC opponent but they still have some talented guys, and I think it's going to ease Virginia Tech into the season nicely. You've got a few you've really got to watch out for, and the main one is Diego Pavia, the quarterback. He is a great runner, and he's got a pretty solid arm too, which definitely just works well with his running abilities. He's no Patrick Mahomes by any means, but he's got a decent arm that can hurt you, especially when his legs have opened up the passing game a little bit extra. As I said earlier in my scheduled deep dive, a 10-win season under his lead last year at New Mexico State, almost 3,000 passing yards, 26 passing touchdowns, and 1,000 rushing yards, and 7 rushing touchdowns. He is the key to this team. You don't really have a great offense to complement him that well, but if his legs are moving the chains and opening up that run game a little bit, then his short passes are going to help a lot as well. When you've got Pavia just creating on his own, it's really going to help out those receivers, and you've got to put a little bit more pressure on the quarterback, and it's going to open up things for everyone looking to catch the ball. So Pavia is really going to be the key to this game. I don't think he's going to fare all too well against the Virginia Tech defense. They've got such a great squad, especially when it comes to the passing attack. His legs are going to have to be on point. And I think with a couple of big additions for the Hokies, he's going to have some trouble. And all in all, it's just kind of going to crumble down for Vanderbilt. You know, they, they did pick up a good QB out of the portal, but at the end of the day, this is still Vanderbilt. They're just not a good team. They really don't have the squad to put together a fantastic season. The worst power team in football last year at a 2-10 and record. Obviously, you can't really get much lower than that. You can't get worse than the worst power five team in the country. So, you know, you got to at least stay where you are or maybe go up a little bit. I think they've improved slightly, but at the end of the day, how much is that going to make a difference? I don't think in this game it's going to matter very much. In addition to Pavia, you've got Stowers, the tight end. He was pretty solid with Pavia at quarterback last year. 35 receptions for 366 yards and two touchdowns. I think he's going to be a key for this team as well when it comes to receiving the ball and just getting things moving. They really got to have the offense on point. Otherwise, Virginia Tech is just going to dominate this game defensively, and they'll probably be able to get pretty much whatever they want on the offensive side. I really don't see this Vanderbilt defense 
causing many issues for Virginia Tech when they've got the ball in their hands. So while I expect those to be two of the big contributors for the Vanderbilt offense, looking at the defense, they've got two guys that really stand out to me in overall a group I don't expect to hold up well, but two guys that I think will have good games individually. It's the safety C.J. Taylor and the linebacker Langston Patterson. Now, Taylor is a nasty player for them. He's one of the better safeties. Two interceptions, two forced fumbles, three sacks, and 55 total tackles last season. He is definitely going to be a key for the passing attack. But the corners and the safeties will need to hold up as well, or else the Hokies can essentially do whatever they want with the likes of Jennings, Lane, and Felton at wide receiver. C.J. Taylor, he's going to make a big dent in whatever Virginia Tech hopes to do on offense, but at the end of the day, you need a solid unit built around him. When you've really got one guy who can do it and an overall weak group with everyone else, I'm not expecting anything too impressive out of this defense. I think Taylor will hold up pretty well individually, but like I said, with not a great defense around him, I think Virginia Tech is just going to have a lot of options. They're going to be able to go with a lot of different guys and use them in a lot of different ways that will find success attacking all the other defenders on the field. The other guy is Langston Patterson, the linebacker, 74 total tackles last season, which led the team. He also had the most tackles for loss with eight last year, amounted to 36 negative yards which was second on the team, only three behind the team leader. In addition, Patterson had one reception, a forced fumble, and a fumble recovery. He's going to be a guy that could cause some issues for Virginia Tech on the offensive side, but similar to C.J. Taylor, I think it just comes down to the overall talent of this group. Two good guys doesn't make a defense great. You've really got to have a solid unit all together, or else they're just going to fall apart. You can't have a lot of weak links in the chain, or at some point, you're going to find that spot, and it's just going to break down. I think there's too many spots with this Vanderbilt defense where Virginia Tech can attack, and they're just going to slowly break down the chain links. There's not enough guys that are good enough to slow everyone down over the course of four quarters. I think Virginia Tech's just going to wear them down find the gaps, and abuse it for the rest of the game. Now, this is going to be the game where we really get to see the first look at how the Hokies are going to be this season. This is a team with a lot of expectations. They're trying to leave the year ranked among the top 25. While winning this game by a substantial margin doesn't mean a whole lot, I think anything less than about 14 points would kind of disappoint me. With Vandy being a theoretically improved team, but once again, the worst power team last season, you know, it doesn't really mean a lot if you if you win big, but if you don't win big, you're looking at a pretty disappointing game and, you know, it it's kind of going to make a lot of people second guess the Hokies even though it's just week one. Obviously, not everything is going to be fully polished in the first game, but you still want to do as good as you possibly can. You want to just dominate this team, so that way you can look at it as a big win on the schedule, and when it comes time for college football playoff selection, you can say, hey, we won this game big. It's not going to help you get into the playoff, but if you don't win it big or you lose it, it's definitely going to hurt you and that's what Virginia Tech just really needs to capitalize on this season you can't lose the games you're supposed to win if you lose you know one big game against a really good team that's not the end of the world but you can't lose games to lower level teams you just can't do it this could be a time where the Hokies move into the top 25 they have the votes this season which is really exciting honestly they're the second team out of the ap top 25 with 77 votes in the preseason poll behind only louisville who had 111 
So really all they need is a door to open for them and a 1-0 record, and all of a sudden they'll be the top option to move up into the rankings. And all they need is a door to open, and guess what? A door is open. We've already had number 10 Florida State get upset by Georgia Tech and number 24 NC State. They pulled together a fourth quarter win over Western Carolina, but they didn't look all that great. So it's very plausible that NC State could drop out of the rankings entirely, even though they won that game. Just a pretty poor performance from them overall. And you know Florida State is probably going to drop a few spots as well, losing to an unranked team. I just can't see them staying at 10th after that loss. People were really high on Florida State this season, and maybe they put it together in Week 2, but I think you've at least got to drop them a few spots in the next poll. Any other upsets this weekend would leave a prime scenario for Virginia Tech to get up and into the top 25. And with multiple ranked matchups in week one, I think we could see that happen. Number one, Georgia is taking on 14 Clemson, number seven, Notre Dame, and number 20, Texas A&M, and 13 LSU, and 23 USC. So you've got three games amongst ranked teams. And while not all of them are in a position to fall out of the top 25. Obviously, if Georgia loses to Clemson, they're still going to be in the 25, but maybe they're not number one. But you shake things up a little bit, you know, maybe something could happen there, and Virginia Tech might have that opportunity to move up. That's really all they need, a 1-0 record and the door to be open. You've also got a few games like number eight, Penn State and West Virginia, and number 19, Miami and Florida. That could be some interesting ones that shake things up. Now, Florida's not going to be a fantastic team this year, but Miami ranked 19, they're still unproven. We really have no idea how this group is going to look. A lot of people are very high on Miami. Personally, I'm a little bit low on them. I think they're going to be a good team. I don't know if they're going to be an amazing team. So that could be an interesting game as well, just to see if Miami can prove themselves and if they're going to look like the team that everyone thinks that they are. I really hope Virginia Tech pulls out with a win in this one and gets into that top 25. I think that would be so exciting, such a great way to start off this year. They're right on the fringe right now, and if we get that door open and they leave Nashville with a 1-0 record, I think they've got probably one of the best shots to do it. Them and Louisville, just being in those top two teams out, they're the first two options to move up into the top 25 as long as they win some games and a couple of teams don't look as good as they initially thought. So Virginia Tech, you just need the door open. Well, at noon, we're going to find out if that door is going to be open, and we're going to find out if they're going to have a 1-0 record to start the season. They've got to perform today. You can't look ahead and think about every other game. you got to start 1-0, and today is finally the day. College football is back for the Hokies. If you're there in Nashville, enjoy the game. If you're not, make sure you catch it on ESPN at noon. It's going to be a good one, and it is going to be a fun way to start the year. I really think the Hokies are going to perform well in this one. I think they're going to have that good game. I think they're going to win by two-plus scores. At least 14 points on the win for the Hokies is what I'm calling. So if I'm wrong, don't be afraid to call me out. I've earned it. But I'm calling it. 14 plus in favor of Virginia Tech. I think they get it done today and they start the season in a big way, making that push into the top 25 and making a strong case for themselves. So make sure you check out this game. I'm going to have a Vanderbilt game review after the fact coming out on Sunday. So make sure you're ready for that because whatever goes down in this game, I am going to be watching it and I'm going to break it down everything I can for you all on Sunday. And then we're going to con continue with the scheduled deep dive. Part three will be coming out very soon. Miami and Stanford. 
the next two games up in the schedule deep dive. So make sure you stay tuned on the Blacksburg Buzz for some more great episodes.